Alright, alright, what is going on guys? Today I've got my hands on FIFA 21. We are going to be starting a new career mode with Borussia Dortmund. So we're on the start screen right here. Myself, I haven't touched FIFA 20 close to a month now. I'll say a few weeks. Uh, it's been a very poor year, so let's see, yeah, how freshen up is this going to be? Let's let's head right into it and see how this is looking. So, let's progress, alright, you see the colour scheme uh, changes, you see the, yeah, the blue and orange, the feel for this year's FIFA. Yeah, let's get into the home screen and see how, yeah, see how this is looking, FIFA 21, you see on the bottom right there. So, yeah guys, we are going to start up a Borussia... Dortmund career mode. I loaded one up just to check out the players and all that, so we'll progress into that. I just did want to show you guys uh, from the absolute beginning right now to show you if you go, if you switch over to the panels and all that, it changes. Look at that, Ronaldo, Brazilian Ronaldo. Uh, to see all the different, yeah, look, Zinedine Zidane there as well. You got, you got many of these. There you go, Ronaldo at Juventus. Yeah, got all that stuff. And we're going to see through our career mode, you got Chelsea Drogba. Yeah, you get the point at this stage. So we're going to go, yeah, start up that career mode right now. And let's see what is new. So again, uh, this kind of stuff is going to be, yeah, generally the same. Uh, selecting the managers and whatnot. Uh, again, what we are to expect from a new FIFA game in career mode. Maybe a reskin in the menus. Nothing, yeah, nothing too much. And <laughs> by default, they are Manchester United as, yeah, it has just your supported club. If you guys didn't know, if you're new to my channel, I do support Man United. I've got a few Man United career modes on the channel. But uh, we're going to roll with a manager. Let's go with this guy. <laughs> Randomly select. I'll just change a few of this stuff here. And also another feature added, Volta Football, the yeah game-breaking new feature. Yeah, yeah, no one touched that for more than five minutes. You can change up all these different ones. like, But yeah, that older guy, it looks ridiculous in that type of shirt. But you kind of, yeah, kind of get it. Maybe we'll find something that's a bit fitting and... <laughs> Yeah, not a guy trying to relive his youth. To be something different for this series, I reckon we will switch it up a bit, but I don't mind this jacket. It's actually a pretty sweet one, to be honest. And then, yeah, you got the Dortmund colours. Yeah, I don't mind that. But, yeah, as I said, it'll be good, you know, for a bit of fun, just to switch it up every so often. Yeah, to see the manager in some different fits, hey? But I thought that was all right. You get the Dortmund-looking shirt in terms of the colours, and, yeah, pretty sweet jacket. I like the, yeah, like the look of it. There we go. Yeah, wait. Don't zoom too much in. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. As I said, we'll switch it up uh, pretty often. But let's go over. Yeah, we are going over to Germany and um, Borussia Dortmund. And if you take a look right there, you, we got the new kits. We got new kits for so many teams. So this is to give you the feel. Yeah, the feel of FIFA 21. So. Yeah, this today, guys, we're, we're doing a FIFA 21, like a modded. This is a modded career mode, basically. We're doing a FIFA 21 mod. Uh, shout out to Beta 10. I'll leave the links uh, so you can go download this yourself to add to FIFA 20 and basically make it feel like FIFA 21 at this point. So, yeah, we play an ultimate. Always play the hardest difficulty in the game. Five minutes length for the Haas and then Sterling for the currency. I just know a lot of viewers uh, of... Career mode, majority from England, UK, so it really makes sense. And yeah, international offers enabled. I don't really take those though. Yeah, transfer window we're going to have on. Let me know what we will do with transfers or what you would want me to do with the transfers to be realistic, maybe for the upcoming season. Jaden Sancho, a big talking point. He probably will make a move. So let me know should we negotiate an offer if we get it, especially if it's from an English club. Yeah, it looks like a good chance to move <laughs> maybe to Manchester. A uh, very good chance it'll be Man United, Man City, have to see. Then European competitions, they always have that enabled. And that should be it. We'll go into it. So there we go. Unknown manager is appointed. Once more, a similar message you see, just with the different color backgrounds. So there we go. As I said, to have him, yeah, in like a black and yellow shirt, the manager. So there we go. That, that's the world news. You can see all this other information. So there's the squad screen. I always actually try and start the season with the default formation that teams have to, yeah, just go on and try that. So if you go over to the squad hub, there is, there'll be some player faces updated. I'm not sure how many. If we go over to Rayner, yeah, he doesn't have, 
uh, profile photo, but he has got a real face in the game. The young 16-year-old American United States talent. Yeah, Giovanni Reyna. I'll be excited to develop him. That's our budget. We have to work with about 65 million. I'm not too... <laughs> too unhappy with that that's yeah a nice budget so as i said back to you guys to let us know let us know what we should do with that take a look financial but it's low not that important domestic success win the dfb poker win the cup win the league title so we got to go hard for this we've got to have a very good season and then reach the champions league reach the final <laughs> yeah in the champions league reach the final so uh, yeah, they got the media earnings, all that stuff. Medium, not bad for youth development. I always like to get a bit involved with that. Um, yeah, see if we can scout some talents. But yeah, we're going to continue on. So now, just going over to see if there's any good youth scouts available. Alright, when I see a 5-star judgment and then 4-star experience is not too bad, I do prioritize the judgment a little bit. That's, yeah, the judgment of finding the quality players. So, yeah, that's a good mixture. When there's not a 5-star, five 5-star five available... Pretty good for the price, but we we do something personal for myself. I don't yeah I don't send him out on the first day because generally on the first that's when the U squad reports come back as well. So what I'm going to do in this episode, we are going to play. That's why I want to get those yeah these friendly games in the preseason tournament so we can play a game and you guys can leave your thoughts on the transfers. I do like the viewers, you guys to give me some feedback who to sell and who to sign to be as realistic as we can for the upcoming season. And also just set up some training right there. Got some names there. Haaland, Hakimi, Sancho, Zagadou, Akanji. Some already of the first team players with yeah, attributes we just want to work on. A few of them, they're decent attributes already. Just want to make better or like with Haaland, curve needs to be a bit better if you're going to do those finesse shots. And Sancho, for the free kicks, more so trying to get his long shots a bit better. Maybe a little increase on the curve can't hurt, but yeah, taking free kicks, I'm sure we've got some decent free kick takers in the team. Not trying to make him an expert with the free kicks, just trying to improve those long shots. Yeah, if he gets the ball outside the box, probably needs to be better than that. So we just do a quick simulate of those. Uh, not the worst. Yeah, for a second there, guys, I didn't realize the Tottenham game until we, we yeah, you hover over it right there. It almost, yeah, it blends in with the blue, so... There you go. Somehow, even though they're white. Right. <laughs> That's an interesting one. That's an interesting one. Let's continue, though. Let's see if we actually do get... Yeah, Zagad. I'm pretty sure you guys do not want me to sell him. And there we go. We'll take a look at the kit. It's looking nice and clean. Looking nice and clean. So we're just going to reject that offer. Yeah, no. <laughs> not looking at... Even block offers for him. Yeah, young centre-back. That's classy. So obviously, the biggest part of this... For like a FIFA 21, yeah, a modded career mode, the kits and some, yeah, player faces upgrade and the background. Those are, those are the key aspects, but we probably what we will see in FIFA 21 as well. No real major features. So we've got work. I'll say excited by the future. Still keeps it content. All right. I like the green. Yeah, I like the green text to be fair. But anyway, as I said, we're going to get into a first game. And there we go. Take a look at that. Manager seeks to impress on debut. Got a few names there. Hummels, Marco Royce, and Jaden Sancho. All class players. All class players for us. We expect them to do big this season. So, as I said, we're going to start. Get a feel. Yeah, get a feel of this team. Uh, Dortmund for the season. Let's go. We'll play against Spurs. It's a good, yeah, good first up game. Not going to lie. So, here we go. Jaden Sancho, yeah, big rumors <laughs> about him, where he will end up, and we're playing at Anfield, so yeah, this is going to be an interesting one, we'll take a look at the team, like, you got Hazard in there, he's he's not a bad player, <laughs> obviously, not the best Hazard, but 83, pretty reasonable, you got Brandt as well, he could sneak in over on the wing there, uh, he's 84 rated player, arguably, I'd probably want to start him, but we gotta, we got to see the, yeah, chant, like, I, yeah, I want to bring in, I want to bring in Brandt, bring a bit more, I think Witzel, that, he's a more defensive option, yeah, it's a good mixture of those two, and then with our centre-backs, Pizczek, I think he's past his best, especially if playing three at the back, uh, we'll bring in Akanji, and you'll see a few guys on the bench as well, I rate this formation, especially with the lack of quality fullbacks, he smelts as another getting older, so, yeah, nah, it's a really good combination, uh, to be able to roll in with this yeah, with this type of formation. And even Delaney, I'd probably play him 
yeah, play him instead of Dahoud there. So, and Rayner, yeah, we might bring him on to give, yeah, get a look, get a look at him. So, yeah, let's get into it. Dortmund v Spurs. So here we go. See, for me, this is already feeling a lot more fresh. It's already feeling a lot more fresh. Uh, I mentioned at the start of the video, I haven't touched FIFA 20 yeah, for a few weeks now. So let's get cracking. Let's get cracking into it. Yeah, how do you rate the new Dortmund kit, though? Not just the fact of having a new one. Yeah, like I said, feeling like FIFA 21, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, what do you actually think of the kit itself? So, all right. Let's get things. Probably need to be playing. As I said, keep in mind, I haven't played FIFA for a few weeks. Ease them back into it by playing on the hardest difficulty. What we do. So yeah, as I said, it's been it's been a while for me. <sighs> yeah, lucky we saved that. Lucky we saved that. Been a while for me since playing FIFA 20. A few weeks, a month, <laughs> maybe. So there we go. And just to show you guys, uh, yeah, of course we're playing on ultimate. Ready, already show. Just to go to the game settings, I'll go over to where you change the yeah sliders. I I don't touch them. I just play on the hardest difficulty without you know trying to make it easy. I know people say ultimate's really hard, uh, but yeah, I just play it like the game is. For me, that feels like cheating in a way, adjusting the game. If it's hard, it's hard. Challenge yourself. All right, thirty minutes in, haven't seen a breakthrough yet. We. Working close. Here we are. Hakimi. Yeah. Oh, man. He's being shut down. But we work it through. We work it through almost with the chance. As I say, we're getting the feel. We're getting the feel of it. Son. He's a nice player. Guerrero. That's a tight battle. I'm actually not minding this formation, how we're set up from defense to midfield to our attackers. You know, that was a bad pass. But, oh, a Kanji. Strong beast. Lad, you got to do better. Oh, how did he get through his legs? I don't know. But that's why there's all this talk around Jaden Sancho. He is a magnificent player. Jaden Sancho, we love you, lad. Ideally, I don't want to sell you, but, <laughs> yeah, we'll see up to you guys what you think is the more realistic thing to do with him. That move. Oh, they just did not read that at all. It was a great skill and great finish. I see the angle there. Yeah, big Hugo couldn't get... Yeah, he couldn't read that. He couldn't read that enough to make the save. And the manager's happy. Love to see it. So there we go. We are happy. We are happy with that beginning. The fans are... Yeah, they're rocking. They're rocking the new kits as well. They love it. Jaden Sancho, you see, he should be a bit more excited. Take a look at that. Already getting this story in there. There could be moves coming for the young lad. We want to keep him, but you never know. You never know what the future holds. And, yeah, because this is a friendly, we would love to go on and win this. We are going to, as I said, bring on Reyna. There is a lot of, yeah, a lot of talent in this kid. We don't want to put the expectations on him. So, I'm not going to say, oh, like, he could be the next, like, Jaden Sancho for the team. But, yeah, he's going to be coming on. Actually, for Guerrero, over on that left mid side, I mean, he is a left midfielder, suits him. He should develop into a pacey player, but at his current attributes, he's not. He's, he's 16. You can only expect <laughs> so much from him. But I like his sight, 6 foot. He's not too short. So, yeah, he, he should be good physically, even though his strength is only 44. Yeah, we've got to see how he goes in game. And anyone else, you got Schultz, he's left back. Yeah, but he can play left midfield as well. So happy with his role in the team that, yeah, we don't need to sell him or you're not using a left back. Yeah, he can play left midfield. That's pretty nice. But any of these guys are not really that young. So we're not going to rush to make any other subs. But yeah, let's bring on Reyna here. Let me know what you guys think of him and his, his potential. So make that change there. Number 32, Reyna coming on. And there we go. He's making his entrance. Now let's focus on defending the corner. You got to get to this keeper. Oh, he saved a lot. Can't even lie, but they were offside regardless. Sonny, he's offside. 
Sancho, yeah, just stay away. Stay away from him. Stay away from him. Oh, yeah, on the outer side now with Reyna. Trying to work him in. Finds Witzel. Oh, it might fall to Haaland. Oh! Wasn't he taken down? See, look, you got that FIFA 21 ultimate team on the ad boards <laughs> to see that. But Davis, oh, we've got to wait. What was he doing there? They they really wasted that chance, not going to lie. Royce. Look at Haaland go. You know, he's got blistering pace. He might go on and show it. Oof. Ooh, that would have been a foul outside of the box. He's not taken down, though. So, no pen. No pen. Again, put the pressure on them. Yeah, see, look, FIFA 21. FIFA 21 on the ad boards. It really gives you the feel like we're playing FIFA 21 right now. I told you guys. This is what we needed to fresh things up. Love it. Love it. Especially when we're winning. When we're leading the game. Yeah. Oh, Rayner. Don't want to do too much with him. But on the ball already, he looks like he fits. A young 16-year-old. Might play him through. Can he find the pass? He'll go off there. To Brant. Neat possession. Very neat. Oh, he might get at. Oh, not quite. But yeah, good play. Get him, get him on the ball a bit. Get him that confidence. It's good for him. Rare. Okay, just got to be careful of that ball. We can read it. We know what's, that's going to happen, but... Can we prevent their chance? Oh, they got through too easy. Let him, let him come inside too easy. But it was Aurea. Yeah, I knew he probably wasn't going to take a shot. Vitzel, why did you fall down? Why did you fall down right there? I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's get him covered. Let's get him covered strong in the tackle. Maybe a late chance now, Hakimi, who's a very good player. And still very young in his career. Has a lot more to go. Brandt, Reyna. Reyna might actually get a chance here. Oh, he wins it back. Oh, win it back. Here we go. Feed him. Feed him. Oh, <laughs> where it lied. Trying to get him on the ball a bit. And he actually, he almost finished things off there. Can't lie. Not a bad, not a bad effort. All right, final corner. Should be the last piece of action for the game. Could get ahead on it. Not quite. Yeah, that will be, that will be it. Uh, happy with that. Happy with that performance, result, and getting the fitness. Getting the fitness and see the fans, see the fans celebrating. And yeah, Sonny, he's, yeah, he's a bit disappointed with the outing. He never wants to put in a good, or put in a bad performance. He always wants to put in a good performance there. But congratulations, Sanchez. Like, I'll see you soon in England, mate. I'm returning home. So yeah, there's a lot of. Ooh, is he gonna be our replacement? I don't know. The game is showcasing a lot. I'm not sure what you guys think. <laughs> Probably not though. But Sacho. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's clapping the fans goodbye. I'm really yeah, reading into that, aren't I? But yeah, you take that 1-0. Not too bad. Spurs did have a lot of chances, to be fair. So then, of course, the Arsenal game will be next. But I reckon we're not going to play the rest of the preseason. I did want a game in this first episode just to show you guys a bit of the play and everything like that. The feel of this FIFA 21 beta. But I hope you guys did enjoy it. Of course, there might be some people asking about I was doing an Arsenal career mode. But yeah, that was like probably over a month ago now. And yeah, if anyone asked about that in the comments, just yeah. I, I took a break from playing FIFA 20 basically. And this new FIFA 21 beta has really refreshed my play. So yeah, new starting. Yeah, this career mode today. So yeah, this should be fun. It's, oh yeah, already, already I'm enjoying it. Helps when you get a win, hey, but it definitely, yeah, it's feeling a lot more fresh. So if you guys did enjoy this episode, make sure you subscribe so you see every single video. We'll upload episodes every single day. And of course, as we approach when FIFA 21 
releases yeah making a lot of content so yeah see the manager there uh, in the fresh fit so anyway i'm gonna see you guys next time leave a thumbs up for more have a good one